This world ain't right, won't accept it Negative energy, I expect it Once it's in your mind, it's infectious So fight for your life and reject it You better give me space, I'm protective My adrenaline spikes when I'm threatened And if you stay in my way, I'm aggressive Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate doesn't resonate check your sun moon rising venus jupiter and north node all right you guys if it doesn't resonate please make sure you understand that it, it does go vice versa all right energy is interchangeable so it, the roles can be reversed all right um i do have a little announcement i have i have entered a contest you guys this contest means a lot to me if you guys can go to the community tab at leo sun pisces moon all right on youtube it's leo sun pisces moon um, you guys can vote once a day there. It means so much to me, you guys. This will, this will allow me to fund my project to help save the lives of children. So if you guys want to vote every day, it means the world. Once again, oh my God, you have no idea. Like the, it, it does show your name. So if you guys do vote, your names will pop up, all right? So I'll keep track of that and make note of it. Um, but yes, you can vote once a day, every 24 hours, once a day, okay? Um, and stick around, you guys. I do have some free personal readings. Everyone's going to get three. Yay! You're going to get three free personal readings, you guys. I'll tell you how to do that in a moment. But for now, let's jump into your reading. Hi, Virgo. Let's jump into your reading. I hope you guys are all doing well. Let's see what's going on. For my Virgs, what do you need to hear at this time? Whoa! <laughs> okay, so, wow. The butterfly card. They really wanted to come out, so we're taking it. Oh my gosh, okay, transformation, eighth house, all right. All right, all right, shout out to my Scorpio Pluto generation. Really quick, I'm gonna read this to you guys because I'm gonna keep it real short today. All right, Virgo. So, I don't know, I'm getting like, kind of like a uh, Knight of Pentacles energy with this because it's, it's talking about honoring your process, right? There's a lot of stages you gotta go through before you can you know, meet your mark or your goal or whatever you want to call it. Um, they want you to allow your beauty to be seen by all. And um, in doing so, they want you to honor your process, okay? Being authentic is the most important thing at this time. Um, wear, your, wear more color, they're saying. Wear more color to help, to help you announce the arrival of your exquisite transformation. Um, you may be even, like, changing your wardrobe. I'm seeing you guys, like, changing your wardrobe, okay? Um, like buying new shoes. Oh, girl, a lot of pencil skirts. I'm seeing like pencil skirts. Girl, okay, I love pencil skirts. All right, pencil skirts, blazers. Like, dude, oh my God, that's my shit right there. If I'm gonna dress up, or like even like pants. I'm here, I'm even seeing pantsuits, okay? If you're a female, you like pantsuits, okay? You might be thinking about like buying some pantsuits, okay? Like, I don't know, like, okay, but they want you to meditate on this symbol, all right? They want you to meditate on this. When you want to call in more beauty, grace, and acceptance during times of transition. Um, this is Scorpio season. We are we are officially in Scorpio season. If you're a Scorpio watching, happy birthday, all right? Um, the butterfly is a powerful symbol of transformation along with a couple other uh, insects. Um, like, I'm going to say, I don't think it's an insect. Is it an insect? Fireflies, I know they are, are they? See, I don't know. Um, I know like there's a couple species that are considered to, you kind of like, yeah, there's, I think it's a Scorpio, of course Scorpion, right, is the first one, um, a Phoenix, right, um, what is it, what else, gosh, a snake, yeah, there's a lot of them, all right, but um, yeah, you could, if you see any of these creatures, um, they are symbol, they are symbolizing some sort of transformation in your life. Um, eighth house is all about death too and rebirth. Um, it doesn't have to be a physical death. You could have, you know, gone through a spiritual death um, or ego death or some sort. Um, being that you are the sixth house, you could have went through some sort of spiritual death, okay? Um, I'm seeing somebody having an awakening, a spiritual awakening specifically, all right? I love you guys so much. Take advantage of your free personal readings down below, Virgo. They are the second, third, and fourth link, you guys. And, oh, don't forget to check out the freaking contest. I'm trying to win this shit, all right? Y'all go vote. Y'all go vote for me, okay? <laughs> Please vote for me. I love you guys so much. It means so much to me. If you want to read more about the contest, go to the community tab. You guys can find out all that information over there on my channel, okay? At Leo Sun Pisces Moon. That is my other channel, all right? That is... 
Um, if you're on, if you're watching from Tarot Karma, yeah, Leo Sun Pisces Moon is my other channel. And um, oh, oh, excuse me, yeah, okay, I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.